the entire movie in there as well as a um, 90 minute quick time movie um, so that came out in the end uh, in early 1993 and I think pr probably sold about 100,000 copies is one of the Voyager's more successful titles and say done in hypercard um, I did a series of CD-ROMs with some f famous scientist kind of people so here you see uh, Marvin Minsky and Stephen Jay Gould and Don Norman and we would take their books and do a CD-ROM version with lots of added video and other elements uh, added to them uh, all three of these still use the same expanded book software underneath them but with a ton of extra custom programming uh, to make all the the color and the and the video parts work and later I did a, th a CD-ROM called Comic Book Confidential which was a uh, Ron Mann film and it's all about comic book artists and it's one of these uh, CD-ROMs where you could see a, a view of the the whole page or you could zoom in and pan up and down and look at the different panels um, we were doing mouse at the same time w one of my colleagues was working on mouse while I was working on comic book confidential then um, we took the spinal tap this is spinal tap laser disc and adapted it for CD-ROM now just before I did this I had done a CD-ROM for the TED conference and that just consisted of a hypercard stack playing some QuickTime movies so really there was no hypertalk programming to it it was all just clicking on a movie and the movie would play so when I came to do Spinal Tap I thought well if it's only going to be just QuickTime stuff I could I could do that in C so I'd never done anything in C apart from very small external commands but nevertheless I set about doing a CD-ROM in C so the Mac version of this is Spinal Tap is in C and is about 50k in size for the application um, and it has a ton of uh, neat features in there in a sense it was a, f a forerunner of all of the um, extended DVD things you've seen since then so like there were three different soundtracks you could switch between you could find which you can't even do on DVDs you could do a find for anything that anybody says or anything that you might have seen in the movie you can search for it um, then after that uh, and this is kind of like me getting away from hypercard not that I wanted to but uh, being cross-platform was becoming more important at Voyager usually we would just send out a Mac version and say to some PC company oh, make us a version of this for Windows and they would use um, Toolbook or something like that to do it in um, but uh, we had a series of DVDs that we needed, sorry, DVDs, CD-ROMs we had to do which needed to be cross-platform right away. So I used a tool called Oracle Media Objects which was Oracle's answer to Hypercard. It was um, well, well after Supercard was around but it was probably before um, I don't know if it was before Metacard, but it was before um, Revolution came around, I believe. Anyway, so that was in um, early 1995, if that helps you know whether it w when it fitted in. Um, but now, when you're programming in one tool, there's a tendency to hate whatever other tool you're not using. So for me, during my Hypercard years, I, of course, I hated Director. Uh, my colleagues were doing the director programming um, and they were welcome to it um, uh, Teresa just said that Oracle Media, Media Objects was Win Plus now interestingly it was derived from the same code but Win Plus went off in its own Windows only direction and so Oracle Media Objects wasn't just a straightforward rebranding of Win Plus it was a, a lot of cross-platform stuff put on top of it um, anyway so my colleagues would normally do the director programming uh, but there came a time when there was nobody available except for me and we had to produce this cross-platform CD-ROM in two months of time to match the 50th anniversary of the first atom bomb tests 
and so I ended up having to learn Director and make my first cross-platform CD-ROM in, in two months. And fortunately, um, Director or Lingo in Director it can be used in exactly the same way as any of the talk languages. It's got a completely English-like verbose way of working. So I was able to uh, figure it out and complete the CD-ROM and, and it, it did ship on time. Um, uh, now that I was the um, one of the director experts, uh, I went on to do a, a thing called Children's Songbook, which uh, 